What's up everyone, it's the Photo Extremist, and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to make this picture. Now this is a little photography effect called photoelasticity. This is where you have two polarizing filters. You have one behind a plastic object, then you have one in front of the plastic object. Now the one behind the plastic object needs to be linear. It needs to be a linear polarizer. Most computer monitors already are linearly polarized. So if you're using a laptop screen, like I am, uh, it should work fine. And then the next thing that you need is a polarizing filter for your camera. Now this is a circular polarizing filter. You can use a linear polarizer filter if you want, but most digital cameras nowadays use circular ones. And if you don't have a circular polarizing filter, you can even use polarizing sunglasses. So the first step you want to do is to put your laptop on a table just like this. And then make the screen totally white. And to do that, you can just open up Notepad and make, make it full screen. The next thing you want to do is put your polarizing filter on your lens and spin it around until it looks good and then when it looks pretty good just take your old picture and there you go there is your super psychedelic photographic extremist photo now what this is doing is showing the stress contained inside of the plastic now what else you can do is actually cross them over and this will get even a more wild effect. You can put, you can stack tons of different plastics on each other and make it more and more and more psychedelic as you go on. Now here's some things that I've discovered that look pretty well. Uh, plastic forks and spoons, really good because the plastic is really hard and kind of thin and that's the, like, sort of like the special ingredient when you're working with this type of thing. Um, Again, packaged plastic that you buy that electronics come in, those work pretty good. Uh, C CD divider things, crinkly water bottles, and crinkly plastic. The more crinkly and hard it is, the better. Plastic bags don't work very well. Now some things you might think look cool but are not cool, um, water and glass and anything that's not transparent or plastic. So that has been my tutorial on photoelasticity. If you enjoyed it, be sure to check out my website, photoextremist.com, and pick up my ebook, Trick Photography and Special Effects, because there is a ton more tricks in there for you to enjoy. So I'll see you in the next video. See ya.